ఫ్రెండ్స్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ జనరల్ బిపిన్ రావత్ జీ చీఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్మీ స్టాఫ్ డాక్టర్ సతీష్ రెడ్డి చైర్మన్ డిఆర్డిఓ వెరీ ప్లీజ్ టు వెల్కమ్ యూ వన్స్ అగైన్ ఇంత యూనివర్సిటీ ఆఫ్ ముంబై జనరల్ శేఖర్ కర్జీ బాల్ దేశాయి జనరల్ సెక్రటరీ ఆఫ్ ఫీన్స్ all the distinguished and eminent personalities in the audience ladies and gentlemen it's a great privilege and honor especially for the university of mumbai when the chief of army is here today in university of mumbai's campus on behalf of university of mumbai we welcome you sir needless to say that we all are enjoying the freedom because of these because of these people in fact even today i am standing before you and talking that was because of the army of our country who saved me in 1984 when i was on my way to uh, uh trekking to amarnath from kashmir and three of us which were caught in the severe storm in the night and the army saved us in that night and allowed us to stay in their very high altitude secret camp which was otherwise not allowed for civilians to go there and that was also the occasion we realized the amount of respect even army has for teachers and that is the only reason so thank you very much sir for all the in fact my salute and special highest degree of uh, respect for army of our country i was very fortunate uh, to meet manohar parikar ji couple of times and was and what dr satish reddy said very rightly he was a wonderful example of simplicity is the ultimate sophistication what this country needs today in fact in every sector is the highest degree of or the the, the quality governance and manohar parikar ji set an example for all of us that this type of governance comes through dynamic leadership leadership with knowledge leadership with character leadership with inclusiveness he was a great example of simplicity honesty and simplicity in fact there was one occasion i saw him when he was the chief minister of goa standing in a queue to board the plane in economic class so much to learn from such people and that is in fact i would appreciate fiends for organizing the memorial lecture and to pay homage to shri manohar parikar ji and we are very fortunate that the first lecture is organized in the campus of university of mumbai our chief of army is visiting university of mumbai first time so i am very happy to brief him that this is one of the mother universities of the country established way back in 1857 so we have completed 163 years it's a long journey and i'm very happy to tell him that this is the only university in the country which has produced five bharat ratna <laughs> apart from many padma awardees mahatma gandhi ji baba saheb ambedkar lokmanya tilak is a huge list of our illustrious alumni
Today, we all are living in what is called disruptive era. The industry 4.0, what we call, and the pace with which the things are changing around us, putting several challenges before us. Terrorism, climate change, which leads to the imbalance in environment, the religious fundamentalism, and so many, even the economic pressure. Things are getting more and more complicated. Under this situation, I feel the only sector which plays and going to play an important role is education. The requirement, the demand from every stakeholder is so much that even the education sector facing several challenges to meet the requirement of the society. And I'm sure that education and teaching is the only field or only profession, I will say, which creates other profession. In spite of all the challenges, we realize that the Indian education system needs drastic reforms now. And that is the reason that the national education policy is almost getting ready. And we need to contribute not only to prepare our students for the future challenges, but also to ensure that the generation will contribute for the development of this nation. University of Mumbai, which is considered one of the largest university in the country, and many of you, if you do not know, probably it will find it difficult to digest even, that currently we have nearly 9 lakh students with 800 plus colleges and even the geographical vastness is right from Mumbai up to Goa border on one side and Gujarat border on the other side. It's such a huge geographical stretch. And one more thing about University of Mumbai and that is probably we are the only university in the world which has 720 kilometer coastal line under its jurisdiction. But, and that but is, in spite of this natural resources we have, I don't know the reason, but somehow we have not introduced the relevant curricula or the degree program or not carrying out the research related to uh, oceanography or the, the, the related fields. So University of Mumbai has taken up as mission to introduce several activities related to the underwater domain, maritime domain, and to begin with, in fact last year we introduced master's program in data sciences because we all know we are now talking about artificial intelligence and data analytics, machine learning, 3D printing and what not. So we have made the beginning. From the coming academic year, we are introducing a master's programming in defense strategies and studies. Next week, we are in fact organizing one roundtable conference and a brainstorming session only to bring awareness about the plastic pollution in the sea. Ocean, especially. Many of you may not know, it's, it's become a severe problem and we all have to understand. This, this particular round table we are organizing with the help of TERI, that is the Energy and Resources Institute and also UNEP, United Nations Environment Program. So University of Mumbai has realized that we need to contribute in the national security national development in many ways. So it becomes our duty now to prepare our youth not for the comfortable predictability of yesterday but the realities of today and all possible challenges of tomorrow. 
Well, I would not like to stand before you and our Chief of Army. We all are here to listen to him. But finally, I can say, it is easy to give an example, but it's difficult to become an example. And there are very few people like Sri Manohar Parikarji. With their live example, they have illustrated with so many activities and actions how to become an example and how to be a simple and how honesty and humility becomes the real virtues of human beings. So I once again welcome you all to this first memorial lecture organized in the campus of University of Mumbai and we are very fortunate once again and to welcome uh, our Chief of Army to the campus of University of Mumbai. Thank you very much.